Hello, everyone. Addie Greenberg, you've been on a long time. I saw you in the chat. I just want to say thank you for being on so early for this. Uh, my name is Lori Burke. If you guys can hear me out here and you could uh, put up a thumbs up or something in the chat, I'll just make sure that this is all streaming through. And uh, let's see. There we go. Yes, first, first like. Thanks for joining us. There we go. Okay. Yes, we can hear you. Thank you, Aaron and Jay with a thumbs up and Justin and Oh Snap. <laughs> oh Snap Productions. That's a great name. Uh, thanks. Thanks, you guys, for being here. Uh, and uh, and Trudy and everyone. Everyone can see me. Yay, 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 yay. Um, okay. So um, I hope you're all doing well. It's, I'm in Los Angeles. It's supposed to be 101 degrees today. So I'd had to turn off my air because it's so hot in here. And um, so if I start to melt, you'll know why. <laughs> Basically, it's like the window's right there and it's warm. And anyway, it is what it is. Um, so uh, today we are, uh, well, I'll tell you a little bit about me first for those of you that have not been on backstage uh, before and seen some of these videos that I've been doing on voiceover. And uh, and we will go to Q&A um, afterwards as well, a little bit more, you know, question and answer stuff. My name is Lori Burke. I'm a voiceover artist, as you know, and coach of uh, virtualvoiceover.com. And uh, I have been in this industry for between 15 and 20 years, also on camera, actress, as well as a, uh, you know, like I said, a host and uh, singing and live reporting, things like that. So I've been doing a lot of this. I've been talking a lot for a living. I'm very grateful for it for a very long time. I guess if you're gonna talk a lot, you might as well get paid for it, and here I am. So uh, so I've been lucky enough to really work in pretty much most, if not all of the aspects, all the different genres of voiceover over the years, also translating into film, uh, like for Jetsy, which I did last uh, just recently, and uh, you can get on my website, just my name, uh, you know, lauriburke.com and see some other stuff I have, or actually it's on virtualvoiceover.com uh, if you're interested. But besides that, what we're talking about today is such an important subject to me because this was exactly um, my, my journey was not living in a major market and doing voiceover and becoming successful in voiceover and actually building my career. So uh, I'll tell you a little bit about that. And hopefully this will resonate with you, especially in this time right now, especially what we're going through right now. I think that, uh, you know, this it's going to change the industry a lot. And I'll give you some thoughts about that as well. So uh, first, I'd like to know, where is everybody from? Maybe you guys maybe you guys can start start putting it in the chat and I can see who I'm talking to from is anybody from New York, East Coast, International. I know we get uh, quite a few people from uh, I know I've worked with people from London a lot, uh, and those are some bigger markets as well. Um, Egypt, Aaron, that's awesome. Uh, Connecticut, love it. Nashville, God, I really want to go to Nashville. Uh, Philadelphia, Florida, Australia, Israel, that's wonderful. LA, great. Orange County, yep, right down, down with the o OC. East Coast, Yosemite, Jay, that's wonderful. Um, and upstate California, great, great, great. Um, and London, I see London too. Wonderful. So um, in Missouri, see, so all over, right? So when I started out, this wasn't, uh, voiceover was was not what it is today, right? And in the next year, voiceover won't be <laughs> what it is today. So, uh, but I'll tell you a little bit about my story and hopefully that will resonate with you and maybe inspire you to uh, get into this business if you are curious about it and it seems like something that you would have fun doing. So I started in LA. I studied in LA. People that know me and have seen me on other, you know, talk shows or videos or whatever know how how important I think it is to study. I'm also a coach. That might be why. Uh, but I studied. I made my demo, and then I was like, okay, I'm ready. I have this. I learned about my craft. I learned that this is what I love to do. And uh, I first had a home studio right off the bat. And this is when most people didn't. And I got a gig for uh, a, cha a TV station out here doing all their promos, uh, LA 36. And I remember uh, just having to send it in from home. So I learned, luckily I have a brother, a really, really amazing brother who is really techie in all of this. He's a musician as well, as we all are. 
and uh, and helped me out. And I set up a home studio right then, right? So that was, it was 15 or 20 years ago. I have to look back. I don't even know, 2000, early 2000s. So uh, I did that. And then I had to move to San Francisco. So my career started going. I also started getting some on-camera roles in films and uh, and TV. And I had to. I won't get into it, but it was a very big mess. And I, and I had to move to San Francisco, uh, which is where I'm from originally. So that uh, kind of stopped, could have stopped my whole, whole entire career. And what I thought was, you know what? No, I want to do this. I was also studying acting, of course. Um, I, I can do this anywhere. I, I was just, that was just my thought. If I love to do this, which I did, I already learned about it. I already had made a demo. I knew that it was something that I, I had confidence in myself because I had studied uh, that I could do. I said, I could do this anywhere. So I moved to San Francisco and I, with my demo in my hand, I, uh, which I made by the way, I mean, I made it in a studio with a coach like myself, but I actually made the physical CD at that time. I, I got a, I invested in a computer. I invested in my first Mac. I invested, now I have a lot of them <laughs> over the years. Anyone with a Mac knows that. Um, and then, uh, and I invested in a printer that made it, you know, uh, kind of printed on my actual CD. So you were giving out CDs and that is how I marketed myself at that time. Uh, so I, uh, answered an ad on Craigslist at that, at that time, that was one of the ways that we would get it. Now we have backstage, we have all these other different avenues that are continually popping up to market yourself in voiceover. And, um, and I, uh, auditioned and I got Google voice, the voice of Google right? That went on. Uh, it was a startup first and then it became Google voice. They bought it with my voice, blah, 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 blah. Um, and that went on for years and years and years, right? So that's how important it is to have a good demo. And that's how important it is to take this as your own business. This is something that a lot of people don't say. Um, but I started with it as my own business and this is what I encourage it. I didn't have a blueprint for all of this. And, um, and I actually just realized that that's what I'm doing. I actually am making a, I have a boot camp coming up, my first course. Woo! Um, and it is all about having a blueprint for your voiceover business, virtual voiceover business. And so um, I, I didn't have that. So I just kind of learned this on the fly. And that must be why I created this course <laughs> was to make sure um, to help other people kind of, you know, navigate through all of this. What do I do with all this information? Where do I go from here? So what I did was I um, I started building my my home studio from San Francisco, and over the years it's evolved and evolved and evolved into different studios and and uh, different places to where now I can pretty much I set up a studio everywhere I go, and uh, and I I did it uh, on a film last year. You know you just keep on setting up. A, we had to set up a studio every day pretty much because we were in all these different locations, and I was doing voiceover um, with for Jexy. And so uh, I just I just kind of learned on the fly. That being said, once I had those tools, I was able to contact different people in San Francisco and say, um, hey, let me do this for you. Let me do this voiceover for you. I have all the technology. I know what I'm doing. And it was just kind of this learning through doing things of to get the best sound and to how to deliver on something and how to really make it your own business. So you people that are in different uh, places, even very small markets. San Francisco is definitely smaller than LA and a completely different landscape. However, in that market, I really built my career and on camera too, for you actors out there on camera too. I really got to do so many extraordinary things uh, that it was amazing. It was, it was just, and, and hosting and all these things that I got to do being in this small market. It's like, if you're going to be in a smaller market, man, you make your mark in that market. That sounds like a t-shirt, but you know what I mean? <laughs> you should really um, take advantage of that, you know, and just get involved and immerse yourself in, as much as you can. And uh, I, I really encourage people that are in, there is always going to be something for you in your market. That being said, now that this has happened, the situation that we're in now, right? Um, we are just getting more and more uh, connected, I believe, throughout the world and especially in the world of voiceover. And this goes into using different um, technologies that used to be ISDN, used to be something you could use, uh, which is something that feeds your your voice where you're recording into 
a studio, but that was going over phone lines. Now we have Source Connect, we have other things that are digital. Um, what this is doing is it's just, I think, raising the bar for really skilled voiceover artists. Meaning that when you do this, you have to make sure that your studio is set up correctly, that it is uh, you know, quiet, obviously, um, and that it's soundproof and all that, uh, that your equipment, everything that you know what you're doing and you know how to use your equipment and it's your business and you can reach out pretty much anywhere. You could also, of course, I had agents after that. After I initially did this, I also had agents. And as a matter of fact, in San Francisco at the time, the time, my would not, she, you always had to go to the agency to record your voiceover. And I said, why can't I just record it at home? She hadn't had anybody do that at that time and, and send it to you as an MP3. And she said, well, does it sound good? I said, well, I'm recording for Google and they're using it. So I assume so. So um, that changed even that was just that wasn't that long ago, you guys. I mean, within, you know, within 15 years, and that was probably 10 years you know, ago. So um, my 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 point of this is that we are evolving as an industry and we are evolving as a craft. And I do think voiceover is an art and it's a it's a creative um, outlet just like acting, it's also voice acting, as you've heard, you know, there's a lot of, of, of uh, crossover in that. And uh, you can do it if you just learn your own skills and develop them. And then now, I mean, you could be listed in an agency in London if you want, and also be on the West Coast. I mean, I'm in Los Angeles right now. I work with people all over the world. Doesn't matter. You know, I have my own studio. I go in, I record, I send it to them, or we do it over one of these lines that I was mentioning. So the most important thing is to have a plan and really map it out, learn your, your craft, learn how to do it and, and make it a business of your own. There's no reason in the world why you would have to move somewhere to do this. There really isn't. So uh, now I know even on air for, uh, for, you know, for acting, you know, uh, you know, we're submitting videos as auditions, right? So uh, just think about that. Just think about how much things are changing and how much um, it just all over and how you can integrate that into your career in voiceover. And, um, and again, I'm, I'm, I, I, this is like a plug, but, um, but I'm just really excited that, I, that I'm, I'm doing a course. It's, I keep saying I was doing a course and now I'm finally doing it. So get on, if you're interested, get on virtualvoiceover.com. Uh, yeah, and just sign up uh, for the waiting list and you'll get a notification. It's going to be the next month uh, and it's just going to be a, a boot camp and it's going to be going over, you know, kind of kind of exactly what I'm talking about. Having a plan. I want everyone to have a plan and know where they're going and just be really excited about it and love what you do and get to know yourself and get to know all your qualities. And it really doesn't don't let it hold you back that you're in a small you're in a small room. Let it hold you back that you might have a, a different voice than the one that you think would be sellable or or popular none of that matters none of that matters you know it really does come from the heart like any other creative art and so i really hope to inspire people to do that so anyway i hope that that answered this this topic a little bit and uh, shed a little light on it i'd like to take some uh questions right now so i see a lot of true this is great i have so many questions okay oh snap bring them on <laughs> um Someone else is in Seattle. That's so great. Um, great. Thank you, Trudy. Love to hear uh, how you do it. That's great. I'm happy to, to share whatever stories I have. And believe me, I, that was like, this is like such a truncated thing. I think in my course, it's going to be a lot more uh, in depth. Obviously, every every video I've done, you know, there's like, you know, I don't know, two more hours on it that I can go on about whatever subject it is and really get into it. But we only have a limited time here. So I appreciate, uh, hopefully, that you got somewhat of my message in this. Um, so, uh, all right, audio face, somebody's asking, Aaron, you're asking about Mike. I'm not, oh, you're answering somebody. Okay, never mind. Um, where are some avenues we can find casting calls for voiceovers? Oh, snap. Backstage, you're on one right now. Uh, backstage, I know, has a lot of voiceovers. And God, Backstage, who I love, um, they, what I get their notices, I see their notices and they are just popping. There's a lot of voice, a lot of voiceover now considering at the beginning of the year, how much they have just grown in voiceover has been astounding. So, you know, Oh snap, I don't know your, your first name. So I'm just going to keep calling you. Oh snap. Um, I would, I would begin with, with backstage because they really do have some great, uh, calls. And then, you know, hopefully you've studied already with a good coach 
that can tell you how to deliver a really good audition and how to, uh, you know, uh, treat this as a business, not just. I think I might have. Uh, I might have lost you for a second, but I'm back. I don't know. I'm going to assume everybody is online right now. That's probably why that's happened before. Uh, so anyway, um, but anyway, I was saying agents are great, um, but uh, you also want to have your own business as well. And I just, again, I think the industry